Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. That's right, I'm at my local Home Depot Center. Guys, there are so many things changing in the market is absolutely blowing my mind. And one change that you're about to see is stores like this, they're not gonna be so busy. As a matter of fact, they're about to have a ton of inventory sitting on the shelves. Why? Because people are becoming poorer and poorer due to inflation. Now, about a year and a half ago, I came out here and I talked to you about, don't worry, the lumber prices are skyrocketing, they're about to collapse, and I gave some very compelling reasons why, and that's why many of you are on the channel today. But now I'm gonna to talk to you about what's going on in the mortgage industry and how the payment to income ratio has absolutely exploded. And that means there's gonna be less people that have not only money to buy a house, but also come here and actually fix up the house that they're trying to hold on to, all right? So I'm gonna put up a graphic right now and it's the mortgage to payment income ratio. And this is from Black Knight. And it shows, if you notice by the screen, in the early 2000s, like actually let's give 2000 an example. As we came out of the dot-com bust, as it, that, that bubble absolutely imploded, blew up, and the Federal Reserve had to drastically lower mortgage rates, right? To spur people going in, diving into real estate, but it took years for the masses to move in. That's the thing. I want you ahead of the curve and not behind the eight ball with this cycle, right? Because now it's crashing and we're about to get in, in the next year and a half, two years, into the real estate market where everyone else thinks you're nuts, right? When places like this are literally closing doors because they don't have anyone buying stuff, fixing up homes because they're running for the exits, right? So we want you ahead of the curve, not behind the eight ball. Well, you'll notice from this chart that, uh, that uh, the mortgage payment to income ratio was pretty pretty darn good because um, uh, people were making X amount and they were only paying about one third or one half of their take home pay was going to a mortgage payment. The problem is, if you notice by 2005, it really started to move up. And the reason why is because the, the Federal Reserve did what's called a dot plot plan and they started raising uh, the Fed funds rate incrementally 25 basis points or a quarter of a percent about every month almost it seemed like, I think it was every quarter. And what that did is it made uh, the price of a home more expensive per month. So you see that spiking up until eventually in 2006, it topped out. That was it. That's all people could afford. And the reason why was because the uh, in 2006, when you couple the high mortgage rates, right, they creeped back up to 7%, coupled with the higher home prices that had been going up incrementally uh, in the last few years, in the early 2000s, it was too much to bear. And then people stopped buying homes. Now you see it dropped and absolutely bottomed around 2012, but then stayed pretty steady, pretty constant, until something very, very important, 2018. And that's because I talk about all the time, from 2015 to 2018, the Fed started the dot plot again, and they almost took out the market. So they stopped, and that's where you see that really sharp drop in 2018. Now, look at the chart. It is absolutely mind-blowing, why? Because it has now topped the mortgage payment to income ratio, it has exceeded the bubble in 2006. And you wanna tell me that this time is different? Yeah, you're absolutely right. This time's gonna be absolutely crazy. It's gonna be even more opportunities because you're gonna have steeper drops. When something goes up that fast, it means it's gonna go down that much faster. And that's what's gonna be exciting. And that's why you see news all over the country right now that real estate sales have plummeted 40 something percent in San Diego. They've plummeted in Miami. They've plummeted in Dallas, Texas, Austin, Texas, places like that, the hot markets. They're about to be the not so hot markets. As a matter of fact, I heard the other day that there were 500 homes for sale in all of Las Vegas, I believe six months ago. There are now 11,000 homes for sale. Yeah, Ninja nailed it. And, and I'm not being cocky, it's because I was, I'm one of the few YouTubers out there that was actually an active investor in 2001, sold everything in 2006 and got ready. Now I just wanna take a million of you guys with me. All right guys, I hope you got something out of this. I thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, do it now. Thank you for the thumbs up, you're awesome. I keep doing this, all right, let's do this. Double snap out. The Economic Ninja is out.